You've probably seen a lot of your competitors' ads on Facebook newsfeed. You are wondering, is it still worthwhile running ads on Facebook or Google given all the competition? You are right to think this way because Facebook determines how much to charge you based on the supply demand of the ad space, which means that the higher the competition is, the more you pay for ads. Here's the thing, once you know the system, then you know how to work around the system. The trick is to not compete directly with your competitors. If you pit against them directly on Facebook and Google, you only drive up the ad cost. Guess who benefits? That's right, the ads platform. You don't want to do that. This diagram, the customer segmentation diagram, tells you how to work around the problem of competition. In any given market, only 3% of people are looking to buy a product. You can do a poll yourself. For example, when I was doing speaking and training, I asked the audience, how many people are looking to buy a phone now? About 3% of people raised their hand. I asked again, how many people are looking to buy a laptop right now? Different group of people raised their hands, but it was again about 3%. I asked about services such as financial service or beauty service, it was the same. This means out of 100 people, only 3 people are active buyers in your market, no matter what market that is. Of course, that number may vary depending on your product and service. 3% is the average across markets. Here's the problem, all the players in the market, all your competitors are going after the 3%. That's kind of expected, right? Everyone wants to get the best bang for the buck and maximize their advertising dollars, so they do a direct promo campaign. For example, if they are selling beauty services, they advertise the service upfront. If they are tuition center, they highlight the tuition service directly. This sounds okay, nothing wrong with that. Well, all your competitors are also thinking the same way and are also doing it. It is a red ocean. Everyone is just looking at the tip of the pyramid, which is the 3% of the market. They are neglecting the 67% of the market, which I'm gonna introduce to you. The next 6 to 7% of your market are open to your solution. The next 30% are not thinking about your product. The fourth level, which is another 30%, don't think they are interested in it. The last 30% know they are not interested. You can forget about the last 30% because you cannot convert them with any amount of advertising. But you still have 67% of the market that is untapped. Even for people who don't think they are interested or who are not thinking of your product, you stand a chance to turn them into customers. Just put yourself in the shoes of your consumers. Are you thinking of buying anything when you're scrolling on Facebook newsfeed? No, you're probably just killing time and relaxing your mind. But you'll still buy things on Facebook and you have bought things on Facebook before. We all have. It's just a question of how the advertiser can grab your attention and tie your interest to their solution. I'm not saying it's easy. If it's easy, everyone will have done that already, which is why most businesses are just going after the 3% of the market using direct ads. It's easier to create a direct short ad because people's attention span is short. It's harder to do the work to understand your audience and grab their attention with copywriting. Let me give you an example. A while back, my laptop started to lag and became very slow. My first instinct was to buy a new laptop and I started to research for a laptop. I went down to Simlim Square and I talked to them about my problem. The Sim Slim salesperson told me that I don't have to buy a new laptop since my current laptop is only one year old. I just have to upgrade my RAM from 8GB to 16GB, whatever that means. So I did that based on his advice and voila, my laptop was as good as new. It was faster than before. I spent just hundreds of dollars instead of thousands of dollars. Assuming your business is the computer repair shop in Simlim, you should not run direct ads because as a consumer, I'm not thinking about the solution. I'm probably here at the third stage. In marketing jargon, we say that the consumer is problem aware, not solution aware. So if you run a direct promo ad to sell a RAM upgrade service, then I will not click because I do not know what this ad is saying. Do you see why you cannot just run a direct promo ad all the time? Instead, you can run a story-based ad, a curiosity-driven ad, or an educational ad, or any possible angles. There are 5 million people on Facebook in Singapore. Almost everyone is on the platform. As long as you can tie their problem and interest to your solution, then you have a conversion on Facebook. Most other businesses and advertisers are scraping the barrel as we call it. They are targeting the crowded 3% of the market. The same ratio applies no matter which platform you use, be it LinkedIn, Yahoo, TikTok or Carousel. This is why businesses find that the problem follows them even when they switch platform. They are still fighting for the scripts, the 3% of the market. They can never scale their campaign because they exhaust the 3% very quickly. It is a red ocean. It's only when they know how to reach the majority 67% of the market then they have a consistent pipeline of leads and sales. This is not theory by the way, we have helped a lot of businesses generate customers using this full funnel approach or what we call the 7x formula. Thanks for watching this video, do like, subscribe and press the bell notification button so that when new videos are released, you will be the first to be notified. I'll catch you soon.